zero, I am going to make uh, rotate that in next size one when zero touches. So uh, I always think that okay, the problem what I have faced uh, during my research work, uh, when I was doing PhD or doing my work, I don't want others to feel the same. And if there is some kind of help from any source, any source you can provide and you can help someone, then it is very good. So I'm making this video to help people. And uh, so uh, let's create the structure. And if you have any query, please write in the comment. And, uh, so I will try to resolve all the issue. So it's a rutile titanium oxide structure. And if you can rotate it, you can see this is titanium oxide. So first thing you have to do is you have to create, you have to increase the number size of this this unit cell. Uh, size of the system, you can say not unit cell. So you have to go to boundary and you have to select four, four, and four. Now if you can see. Uh, the original cell, the basis uh, basis uh, vector is are the same. The unit cell is there, but the dimensions has increased. So, which is now very easy to work and easy to handle. Now, what we can do is now we have to go to lattice plane, and lattice plane we have to decide. So, because we are creating one one zero surface, so first thing we should define a one one zero surface. So 110 surface, you can define, I'm giving it to like, uh, whatever clever, color you like, I'm giving it green. So let's give it green. But it is actually not coming in the atoms. So it's better we should move it to the atom. So we can do it, we can make it green. Now, if you can see this, this is actually containing the number of atoms. It is containing the atoms passing through the atom. So it is now very easy and convenient for you to see. Please ignore any other background noise because I don't, I can't have any, have any control over this. And my videos are delaying because of this uh, noise, but I don't want to be like delay my videos. So I thought I should record with the, uh, whatever noise it means I have um, coming from the background. And uh, my, if somebody wants to learn it, then definitely he will see the procedure rather than focusing on background. So now let's again make a lattice plane. Now, this is very easy to now see that next plane will be on, uh, uh, if you see the periodicity, so this and this will be the uh, exactly the same. So uh, because we have, to, uh, we have to consider a unit cell, we have to, because the whole procedure is to create a unit cell which contain 110 plane. So now we have to make a new, and uh, let's make it five so that contain other plane. I am not choosing four. This is a very uh, good reason for that because if you choose four, you will not able to delete it. Means you will delete. You will have just a very simple unit cell, but you conceive. You want to consider at least periodicity to one extent. So it is very important. So select select the plane in a very appropriate manner. So next, you have to decide a plane which is perpendicular to these two green plane or one one zero plane which is very easy you can find it in the uh, you can find which pair planes are from the perpendicular to one one zero plane so you will find it it is this it is zero one plane it is very easy and you have to just give it three and I will give it three I will make it yellow it's better or I will make it pink let's make it pink okay so if you see, so now it is perpendicular to the display. Which we can see very easily. Now, next plane we have to decide it the same way. And we have to see one, and we have to give it two. Okay, so now second plane is also created. Now, just uh, rotate the crystal in this way so that you can see. Okay, now it is very convenient. We have to select a unit cell. Now let's delete the atom. So we have to delete portion about the green layer. Okay, so now it is very convenient. Now, okay, so all the atoms about green will be deleted. Similar, we have to delete this. Okay, delete atoms. 
carefully otherwise you will delete the atoms of the unit cell so now let's see uh, the specker i am making this is our unit cell so we have to delete all the atoms uh, uh, which are not included in this unit cell so again we have to go we have to select and this is the way it should be now let's delete and now let's again delete Now we have to just rotate it a little bit, not little bit, it's very, it means we have to bring it in a very appropriate way. Now you can see that these two uh, lines are actually outside this box. So we have to delete those lines also, these are those atoms also. So let's delete it. And now we have deleted it. Now similarly, we have to delete these. Okay. Not very good in deleting these atoms, but intention should be good rather than you know the procedure very accurately. Okay, so now let's delete these two atoms also. Delete the rest of them. So, okay, now now let's just rotate it a little bit. Now, this is your unit cell now you have to find the coordinates of each atom and you have to define the atoms now you have defined a unit cell which contain 110 and you know these above surface is 110 so let's delete this surface we don't need this surface anymore now let's delete this surface delete it delete 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 so that you can easily see the atoms okay now just move it a little bit okay now if you suppose this is your origin and you suppose this is your origin so you have to just do you have to select it with this item you can select coordinates will come okay we have to select it okay now select it okay so the coordinates of this is one two three and I have already written one, two, three. Origin I will define. Now, what is A? A is just a neighboring atom coordinate. So it is one, two, two. Now it is one, two, two. You can see. Now next is your B. Your B should be this one. Let's see this. So it is two, three, three. Yes, it is two, three, three. Now you have to define C. So C is two one three two one three. Now what you have to do? You have to find a transmission transformation matrix. Transformation matrix means you have to because you have defined the origin, so you need a transformation matrix to actually transform the crystal. So what you have to do is you have to uh, subtract uh, the value of origin coordinates to A, then B, then to C. So if you subtract it one, uh, then you will get these values. So 1 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 2, 1. Again, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 3 minus 3 is 0. And similarly, you can follow this procedure. Now, what you have to do? You have to open a bus file or any file you want to. Again, we have to open this file. Okay, so it is somewhere here. So this is bus file. Okay, I am choosing VAS file. There is a very special reason because sub in VAS, it by default, it does not give any uh, symmetry to the system. Like, try to, you can, if you are not, if you are saving any Vista file, you will see it is not showing the uh, any symmetry. So, if you can check it, let's see. And go to unit cell. So, it should be triclinic. And if you have chosen a like a any CF file, then it will have symmetry and definitely you can't transform it too because these are compatible this transformation matrix should be compatible with your origin system so you should try to always save the system as a tri clinic because now you all means the operations you want to apply you can easily apply so now we have to transform it and what we can do is we can write it simply zero minus one 
1 minus 1 1 1 0 okay Okay, and so we have to open it to 25. Maybe no symmetry. Now, what we can do is we have to, uh, again, we have to choose a different file. Okay, let's choose Rupil. And this is a child. A uh, vast file. Let's do it. No vast file. Okay, let's. Open. Okay, let's edit and remove the cell. So let's transform it again. We have to do it zero minus one minus one one minus one. And then one and zero. I hope I hope it will work. So you have to add new equivalent position to a list of symmetry equation. Okay. So you have to apply and this is a apply. Okay. So now you can see this surface if you just Take the screenshot of it. Uh, I will take a screenshot of this to show where is 100 plane. So I will take the screenshot and this is your system. So if you see that then so this plane is actually okay, so I'm not drawing in a very good way. So one one zero plane. This is your one one zero plane. And now you will now if you just extend the boundary or uh, uh, let's extend the boundary into four four four. Let's see, let's see what will happen. And apply. If you see your surface is created. So this is your one 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 zero surface. In X Y Z direction it is. So this is your one zero surface. So again, if I show you, so this is your one one zero surface. So this surface is your one one zero surface. Okay. So I hope you like this video, and if you have any comment, please do let me know. Or I think before edit, before finishing this video, what I can do is, I can also show you how to <coughs> say. So let's export data, but I have already exported it, so. I'm not going to export it, but yes, you have to export data at one one zero because I have already saved it. So I will show just whether the situation is maintaining or not. So let's see. This is our vast file which I have already generated. So if you see, uh, let me open this, edit with no cell, and see. So it is showing titanium four into eight. Means it is maintaining the ratio one is to two ratio it is maintaining, which is of which should be true. So the way I have generated actually file it is actually um, so so and uh, and uh, you can easily identify the one one zero plane if you still want to identify the plane you can just go to edit you can go to lattice plane and you can define a plane to one one zero so it is not very difficult so please. I hope you like this video and if you have any confusion while making any structure or any surface please do let me know by leaving a comment in the description uh, so thank you thank you for